Hello guys and welcome back. So today's video is going to be about uh, not fully that look, but it's just about my face. Um, recently I asked uh, you on the Instagram which uh, look would you like to prefer to see. So I put the blurry skin, uh, the face and then also the uh, everyday eye makeup. And it was like almost 50-50 and then so I just said, oh, that, that, that's great, you know, at least I can do both, um, pick both the videos. So today's video is about the uh, blurry face, how you can create that look and uh, with filter and how you can um, achieve that just using a couple of products and just few techniques which are quite easy and you will be so so surprised. So if you would like to see step by step how I achieve that, um, that face and um, let's keep watching. Okay guys, so um, as you can see my eyes are done because we're going to more focus on my face today. And um, first of all what I will do, I will do my usual stuff which I will be doing my um wait. <laughs> I will be doing my skincare. So this is for any makeup that you must have. And that's the product that I will be using today is the clearance matte. So that's gonna help my skin this is for like acne uh, face but I have a post acne so sometimes I I like to use it and especially for the um, for the makeup like today I would like to use the products which they are going to help to set uh, products better and just minimize pores okay so that's the whole the trick so let's let's try this and after that, what I will be using, I will put it on my favorite uh, moisturizer. This one is from the uh, Estee Lauder. Nutritious, um, I, I just love that, that product. It's just basically a, my, my must have product. And makeup looks so nice as well. So what do we have to do? We have to work out this product really well into your skin. I will have to be careful now because my brows <laughs> eyebrows are gone. I know that doesn't look well. You cannot really see uh, makeup. Eye makeup, I mean. I just find that it's very difficult to do makeup, the eye makeup for me first without, um, without makeup. Okay, so now what I will be using, I will be using the primer. That one is from e.l.f. and this poreless face uh, primer. I will just apply it on my brush. So let's just wait about a couple of about two three minutes for primer to work um, better just to set properly. But in the meantime, I will tell you what I will be using today. And today it's going to be um, the Peach Perfect um, foundation from the Too Faced. Um, for the blurry makeup uh, skin, we are not going to use any products like. Not too much in order that they were they're going to give you that glowy finish because then they are not going to work and um, work well and just to give you that lovely uh, glaze okay so I didn't put too much um, what's the name? too much foundation under my eyes, so I will try to conceal right now. So I will use the my concealer, and this one is the honey shade. So I will just kind of try to brightening, just cover the dark cycles under my eyes. So that's the warm tone I'm using. Highlight, and this one is from the NYX. Here, here, and here. Okay, can you see that already? So I just I can't wait when I will put the. 
uh, powder on and that's how it uh, work. But before that, I will be um, doing my contour just a little bit, just to give some definition and just uh, scoping a little bit of my face. And for that, I will be using um, I don't know, my comb. This one is my favorite product. This is from the Primark. So now I will be using my powder and this one is from the um that one's from the losing powder from the Rimmel light to medium that's my favorite one as well um, and yeah, I will take a brush and kind of gently set Using um, my Mac bronzer, and I will set my my contour. So everything is very gentle motions. Okay, I hope you can see already how it's lovely, blurry. And finish and that's the trick for that is just applying the small layer build it up a little bit and once when we're going gently with the product with the products and with the equipment which we are using um, a brushes which are helping us so that's gonna give you that you know better um, better texture and you can work it out and uh, blend these products and uh, better through your skin if that makes um, makes sense so now I will be using a little bit of the blusher we can keep that nice and texture because I don't want to put too much glow uh, on my face as well I will be using um, not too strong highlighter and that one will be perfect from actually hourglass for my lips I will use today let's keep everything nice and cool so for my lips I used my um, that's from, it's from the Laurel it's called the chocolates the chocolate in French and actually it smells like chocolate and it tastes like chocolate and um, this one is like matte finish um, but it's gonna stay for such a long day uh, sometimes even when I'm removing my makeup I have to do the um, good scrub because that's, that's gonna stay all day so even if I have a mask on now uh, probably it's gonna be uh, still there so I hope you enjoyed this this tutorial I hope you find this helpful and I hope you learn some extra tips and tricks and so you can find this uh, for everyday look so it then you don't need your any more filter on your uh, lovely pictures you can just create that everything with the with your equipment and with your cosmetics and everything that you have at home and of course if you have any questions and um, please contact me i will be so happy to help you and uh, and explain you maybe it's the best step you know what you can do again and even with the products that you would like to use i have no problems i can do that for you and uh, yeah so just let me know in the comments below uh, what you think about it and i see you next time thank you goodbye